Hi. Wanted to let you know what I'm reading. Working through Transcendent Kingdom by Yagasi. Um, I am a little over halfway, need to get through that. And then I'm working through a digital proof of magma. Oh, you're slipping. Then I'm working through a digital proof of magma by an Icelandic author. I'm going to put her name here. I'm excited about that one. That's a NetGalley arc. So thank you, NetGalley. I feel so special when I'm reading an arc. Oh my gosh, I have zero subscribers. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm working on. It's the middle of my work day. I just went out to lunch with, I actually just got a new job. Um, leaving the one I'm currently at for a new opportunity. And I went out to lunch with my new team. It's very exciting, very nice. I'm really excited to start that. So I think I'm gonna work on editing my About Me booktuber tag more. And editing takes so long. Like, I don't know how you guys do it. <laughs> it's taking me, I mean, maybe I'll get faster as I go, but it's taking me forever. I just have like a new respect for people that do YouTube videos because it's not easy. It takes a lot of time. Um, but I guess that means that the people that I watch are doing a good job because they make it look easy. Um, but acknowledging that, and then I'm gonna do some reading. I'm hoping to finish that arc today, post my review, and I have another arc up next. I actually don't even know if it's out yet, but I did get a copy of it through NetGalley. It's called Ghosts by Dolly Alderton. Um, Carly from Uncarly was reading that recently or she's currently reading it right now um and i got approved for a copy on neck alley even though it might be out but probably going to make a tea listen to some olivia rodrigo which i can't put on here because of copyright but you get it in your heart i look <laughs> but um i'm watching oa preparing for my Brit Marling video, not really, but watching season two through for the fifth time, fourth time. And I buddy watch it with my friend Joseph and he's never seen it before, so. <sighs> We're on episode two, season, no, episode three of season two. Hi guys, it's a very rainy day in Nashville and I need a coffee. I already had a coffee today, but I need another coffee. So I'm going to get a coffee right now. And that's, that's what's happening. Let's go. Sun is coming out. Thank God. On the bright side, I did get my drink. So that's, that's good. And I got a horchata. I personally feel like I really put the whore in horchata. You know what I mean? All right. I'm going to finish reading this tonight. Um, I'm enjoying it, but it's like, it's not something I can't put down, you know? Kind of reminds me of The Vanishing Half. Like, beautiful writing, but not my favorite. Also, 
really a little too much to gifty. <laughs> so I don't always love sitting down and thinking about my religious trauma. But I'm gonna finish this tonight because forcing myself to work on Midnight Woman, my website, all weekend. I decided that next I'm going to read Luster by Raven Lalani and The Lost Daughter by Elena Ferrante. Um, and then I have Ghosts by Dolly Alderton, which is an arc from um, Matt Galley. And yeah, I need to do my May books. Maybe I'll do that today. But Transcendent Kingdom will be the last book that I read in May. I don't even know when the first of the next month is. Said I was going to finish Transcendent Kingdom last night. I didn't. I'm finishing it right now. Um, I slept in, ate a pour over and some breakfast. Last night I started watching this new Netflix show. Well, I don't know if it's new, but I just, it's new to me. Called Behind Her Eyes. Really interesting, very creepy. And that's why I didn't finish the book yet, so. finished Transcendent Kingdom this morning. It was good. Not my favorite, but it was good. It was beautifully written. I worked on my website today for two hours, which isn't a lot, but it's a start because I haven't been working on it for the past couple weeks. So I'll work on it again tomorrow. But for the rest of the night, I think I'm going to read. I just remembered that Foster the People exist. I wonder how they're doing. Hopefully they're okay. I think I'm going to end up turning this into a Memorial Weekend, Memorial Day weekend reading vlog. I think that will be good. My roommate, Madeline, and my other roommate, Riggins, um, her dog, are at the lake this weekend. So I have the house to myself, which means you're getting crazy and reading. <laughs> um, so, I'm gonna make some tea. I know I'm looking rough. Okay, you don't have to tell me. I think I want peppermint. Ooh, lemon would be really good though. I'm gonna do that. so tired. Um, I think I'm going to wrap up this vlog. Uh, today is Monday, Memorial Day. I started The Lost Daughter this morning and I really like it. Um, I tried to start Luster yesterday on Sunday when I was with my friend Michelle and we read for a little bit um, at a coffee shop and I just couldn't get into it. I, I just felt like I've read several things lately that are too similar to what I was going into. So I put that down for now. I only got like a couple pages in um, and I started The Lost Daughter. Really love it so far. And also, I mean, I will admit 
that it's possible that I like The Lost Daughter so much because I'm already picturing Nina as Dakota Johnson because she's portraying that character in the in the movie that should be coming out next year or something. Um, and I love Dakota Johnson, but yeah, I really like that book so far. I'm excited to finish it. It also just feels like a good summer read, like a good warm weather read. Um, this morning I made my coffee and took it outside and sat outside in the sun for a little bit. Um, but yeah, this week is my last week at my current job and then I start a new job next week and I'm so excited. Um, yeah, a lot of change and transitioning happening, but I'm really happy and excited. And yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Stay safe, bye.